What is going on guys? Mike here with Chit Chat Gaming. I figured I'd do a quick video here, kind of just going over some of the more recent games I've been playing. Because I've been in a little dry spell where I've been kind of just going back and playing like Fortnite, Warzone, you know, uh, Mario Kart 8 Deluxe, Splatoon 3, WWE 2K23. I haven't really gotten into more recent games, so I kind of challenged myself to kind of get more into some more recent style games here. And I've also challenged myself to pick up my PlayStation 5 some more, because I've kind of neglected that. I've been playing my Xbox Series X more and my, my, uh, my Nintendo Switch as well here too. So these games I'm gonna talk about here today are gonna be on the PlayStation 5 or on PC. So I wanna go and start off first things first. Um, this is a game that I never really got into, the first one, but I checked it out videos. I was like, you know what? I wanna play this game here. It looks fantastic. And that is Helldivers 2. So I'm a big uh, I'm a big mark here for you know third person and first person shooter games and this one here definitely you know scratches that itch for the most part though um, this really quick though this is going to be a live service game we talked about that not that long ago I did say I was going to uh, cancel my pre order I ended up kind of just sticking with it and picking it up anyways like I said it looked like a lot of fun so you do have to be online at all times and there's some there's some issues with that here we're going to go into that here basically what it is is that um, if you're trying to get into a game sometimes the servers are just too full and you have to come back and try again. I ran into that a few times where I tried playing and basically I couldn't get into the servers. And again, I got to come back later on. Now it's a good thing, a bad thing. It's a good thing because it means a lot of people is playing your game, but it's a bad thing because it means that people can't play your game. So with that being said though, make sure you guys keep that in mind as well too. I ran into that quite a few times here. Now Helldivers 2, like I said, never played the first one. Uh, like I said, it's gonna be more of a team-based oriented game where basically it's, it's a team-based game, 100%. Um, you can do solo. Uh, I don't recommend it. I've been doing that quite a bit here because I don't really play with a lot of friends that have this, but I've been doing some matchmaking and such, and I've found it more enjoyable to do that and much more, uh, like I said, enjoyable as far as um, being easier uh, to be able to play some of these harder missions. Now, when you're playing it solo, um, you can do so, but it does get, as it progresses and gets harder, it, it, it is very, very hard to do. So 100%, you know, recommend playing this with friends if you can, but there is a solo mode that you can do as well, or you can go into it playing it solo. Um, but with that being said, though, the guns are fun. The gameplay's fun. Um, you know, basically, you have different uh, stratagems are called where you can kind of call in, like whether it's an orbital strike. Uh, there's a cool system for that. But basically, you can call like an orbital strike. You can call in supply boxes or a supply kit for your for your uh, for your team and so forth. Everybody has different you know little things that they can you know, call in as far as like they're called stratagems that they can kind of like use to uh, to help the team as well here too. So um, again, I'm having a lot of fun with it. The gunplay is fun, like I mentioned, and overall you're just going out you know doing different different missions and so forth and destroying these like bug creatures and such as well here too. These hordes of them, these big monsters, kind of monster hunter to a degree. But again, though, a lot of fun. Highly recommend playing this with friends if you can do so. So make sure you guys check this out here. Helldivers 2 on the PlayStation 5. It's also available, of course, on PC. The next game I want to talk about is also a PS5 game, like I mentioned. It is going to be um, a game that I was really looking forward to playing here because I really like to get lost in single-player games. I get into these Fortnite Warzone games. I'm like, you know what? I need to get into something else that's more single-player. And I was like, this looks like great. Um, the developers did a great job on it as well, too, as far as the game looking, you know, looking great. The story itself is a lot of fun. And that is Banisher's uh, Ghosts of New Eden. Um, again, this game just came out this past week. Um, if you're a fan of RPG, you know, open world style games here that have like objectives and so forth that you have to do, it, it's a lot of fun here on um, different quests and such. But again, though, the game, the story itself is great here. Basically, you're, uh, you know, you're ghost hunters and then you're trying to like, you know, prevent these ghosts and such, trying to banish these ghosts and such. And, you know, of course, save everybody and kind of figure out these different clues, try to find out like, uh, you know what so and so is saying what, what this ghost is trying to say to the living and such but of course tra uh, no tragedy strikes and unfortunately one of the characters gets killed i'm not going to spoil it one of the characters get killed uh, gets killed and of course now you have to decide whether or not you're going to continue banishing this ghost or if you're going to you know risk you know killing the living as well too to um to bring back this particular character or if you're just going to go ahead and uh, banish ghosts to kind of push her off into the next afterlife world kind of spoiled there push him or her off into the next afterlife world but the story itself though is great there's some combat as well too there's some light rpg elements um but one good thing too of course is the fact that this game here is just a lot of fun a lot of fun to be able to play sit down and get into it's like a 25 to 30 hour game and like I said, I've been having a, a lot of a lot of fun here, uh, getting lost and just kind of getting into it. The combat is not super in depth, but again, it's there. Your decisions make a difference in this game here, because basically your decisions will kind of um, tell the story 
because like just like like how most uh, decision making games, if you just, if you pick one decision or one answer, it's going to kind of determine how your story is going to end. There's several different endings to this game here, so that's where the replay value is going to come into effect. But yes, you need to make decisions, and like I said, depending on the decision you make, it's going to affect the outcome of the end of your story. So 100% recommend playing Banishers. Ghost of New Eden here on the PlayStation 5. So the last game I want to go and discuss, I've been playing here, been dipping into, is available. There's no physical copy of the game, but it's available, you know, on the PlayStation uh, Plus or whatever it is. Now, if you have that, I have the essential, but basically it is going to be on there and it's free to play on the PlayStation Plus. Where basically it's called it's called Foam Stars. Now a lot of people are going to say that this game is a there's a lot of controversy because they're saying it's a rip off of Splatoon. Yes, there's definitely some inspiration that was drawn from Splatoon. This is a Square Enix game, by the way. Um, I would say the more, you know, the most obvious things is going to be the fact that you're shooting foam and shooting instead of shooting ink. The uh, the music and such sounds a lot like something where you where you'd be playing Splatoon as well. Too, there's lots of similarities to the music, but for the most part, that's about it. Uh, one big thing too is when you're shooting your guns with the foam, it has that 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 Splatoon like ink. Um, sound to it very very recognizable but for the most part that's about it though uh, much like Splatoon where you're going around you're trying to cover the most areas and such for your team to win that's not in this game here you're basically using the foam to kill or chill your enemies and also kind of like using it to your um, advantage when you're trying to like build like little like ramps and such or like you're kind of build it up to block them like let's say someone's shooting at you you can build up the foam to kind of block that or use that to kind of get up the higher grounds and so forth as well too so Again, that's kind of the most you know, focus of this game here instead of like covering areas. But there's a couple different you know, um, modes that there is. There's three different modes, I believe. I want to talk about two of them that I've been mainly playing. I've been playing one called it's like a rubber duck or something. I can't, it's like rubber duck something. And basically, it's like a payload or like a capture the flag. Uh, where basically, if you ever played Overwatch, play payload, it's kind of the same thing. Where basically, it starts off in the middle of the map and you have to push that off to your opponent's. Um, you know area here to be able to uh, capture and win so I've been having a lot of fun playing that it's of course very very competitive back and forth another game mode on there is called smash the star and that's more like a team deathmatch where you can respawn and such and each team will have a certain amount of lives they share and of course the last you know standing member of each team will be you know voted or be picked as the star of the game itself so a lot of fun though to be had in this um Again, it's a, it's a very, very heavy live service game. It's a free-to-play. It's, of course, going to be a live service game, whether it is like a season. You can buy different skins and so forth and upgrade, and it's got all that. The whole live service element is 100% intact with this game. But the, but again, though, you don't have to do so. Um, it's more just going to be more, like, like I said, skins and such as well here, too, that you need that you can buy and everything. It's not really going to help you too much. It's just more cosmetic than anything. But I've been having a lot of fun with it. You know, I definitely recommend checking out if you have PlayStation uh, you know, Plus or PS Plus or whatever it is. Um, I rec definitely recommend you know, checking that out and you know, giving it a try. So those are kind of the games I've been playing here, guys. Let me know down below what you've been playing here. I'd say I've all three have had the most fun. I'll be honest with you with, with these two. But I've been, like I said, I haven't had a chance to play this a whole lot because of the server issues. But this game here, though. I just like getting lost in these style games. So again, let me know down below what you guys have been playing here, how you picked any of these up, and what do you think. So make sure you guys like this video if you choose to, make sure you subscribe to the channel, and make sure you turn on that bell notification to keep up with all things that is Chit Chat Gaming. And as always guys, happy gaming.